you know, after a long, hard day of lawn maintenance, there's nothing I look forward to more than a T-bone steak. But since there's a war on and meat is rationed, we have to improvise. So today, we're going to learn how to make a mock T-bone. Should be just as good. Changing hats. This is best I could do. Keep me clean. And we are good to go. Welcome to the Model Kitchen. So today what we're gonna be doing is making what they called emergency steak or fake T-bone steak, depending on the cookbook. Um, so we got we got this recipe out of a, a 1943 Betty Crocker cookbook. Um, in that case, it was called emergency steak, but I think it's more fun to call it fake T-bone. Anyway, here's what you do. You need to find yourself a baking, or a, a large mixing bowl. Take one pound of ground beef. This is a little bit more than a pound, but it's gonna work. Pop it on in there. Half a cup of milk. Add your half a cup of milk. Quarter teaspoon, or quarter, yeah, quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. Quarter of each. Add that. Quarter cup of onions, chopped. Now, these onions and these carrots came from our victory garden. We just picked them this morning. And then, the magic ingredient, one cup Wheaties makes everything better. Add that. Mix it all together. Mmm. Then we, we set this delicious looking concoction aside for a few moments. Okay, so after you, you've mixed the meat mixture up, uh, Clear your space, get yourself a baking pan. And this is the fun part. So as I mentioned before, we went out to the Victory Garden this morning, picked some carrots, I washed them up, and I sliced them thinly, like this, lengthwise. And the reason we're doing this is because earlier in the video, I was talking about really craving a T-bone, but since it's 1944, you can't buy T-bones due to meat rationing, we're making a T-bone. Right here, T-bone. So, here's what you do. You create a T-shape with your carrots. And then, grab a handful of the meat mixture, mold it around the carrots. You want it to be about an inch thick. Steak number one. And then you'll do the same until you run out of ingredients. All right, now that you've got your T-bones ready to go, right there, huh? Look at that. Like, I bet you couldn't get a steak like this in the finest restaurant in Chicago. All right, so what you want to do at this point, turn your oven on broil, either broil 500 or very hot, depending on your oven. Grab your T-bones, pop them in the oven, and then let them cook eight to 15 minutes, flipping once. And as you are waiting for them to cook, you know, it might be good to uh, go online and check out some of our some of our, our drink recipes so you can have a cocktail with your T-bone steak. We have some good ones up right now. So, all right, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna check and see how this worked out. So I did flip it at about eight minutes. Let's see how we did here. Ooh, toasty. 
Ooh, man, they look pretty good, actually. All right. All right. Well, I'm just going to try a bite here to see how it is. It looks good. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Well, I think it was a success. This is pretty good. So after eating this, I think I'm going to have enough energy to go out and finish crisscross mowing the backyard. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you would like a copy of this recipe, it'll be listed in the description below the video, and we'll see you next time.